Welcome to Web Dorado video channel. After watching the video, please share your thoughts in a comment section. Today, we will explore the form maker from Web Dorado. I will be demonstrating the professional version of any product from Web Dorado. Please keep in mind there will be certain limitations with the free version of the plugin. In our consecutive videos, we will talk about description of form fields, configuring form options, managing and publishing submissions and blocking IPs. In this first video, I will show you how to install, create, and publish your created form. So first and foremost, we'll go to our admin panel and we will click on login. We'll go to plugins, click on add new, and we will click on upload plugin. We'll choose our file, formmaker, click open, and click install now. For Mac users, go to your downloads folder and locate the folder with the plugin. Right click on the folder and select compress. Now you have a newly created zip file which can be installed as described here. I'm going to need to activate the plugin at this point and I'll do that seconds later. I should see it in my plugins folder. Okay, at this point it's a good idea to remind you that if you already have installed the plugin and want to update it while preserving your existing forms, you need to deactivate and delete the form maker from the list of plugins right here okay click deactivate and then delete do not uninstall your form maker from the form makers uninstall menu let's go to form maker click on the manager at the manager screen here there are 11 ready forms that you can use or modify to cater your needs and next to each form there is a short code that you can add to your page or a post and a php function that you can insert into your code let's go ahead and add a new form Click on add new here, it will direct you to a new window and you will need to give it a title. First form for me, I'm going to click on apply to save and then I'm going to randomly add some new fields to my form. I will click on add new field here, select text input, simple text is fine. I will talk about these options in a different video so I'm not going to go into the options of the form. I will click save here. Add another field, text input, let's say a name, save, and then of course I need my submit button and I will save. Okay, I will click on apply to save all the changes and at this point what I need to do is publish my form and that needs to be either on a post or a page and I have created a page here. I will go to my first form. And if you remember, you can bring in your short code from the list of the fields and paste it here. Or you can simply click on the insert form maker button and select your form. First form, click on insert, update and your form is ready. Now we should be able to see it on our page. And if I were to go to my first form and refresh it here, my form is right here. So I hope you do like our videos and if so, please like us and hit the subscribe button and follow us on social networks and more videos are coming. Keep tuned in.